All right, y'all. It's another um, 2K game. I am playing with uh, my paint beast build. Um, of course, his name is, is Big Boy Less also. I'm only about 15 games into it with the paint beast build. He is about an 85 shooter. I mean, he had 84 overall. But when you see this guy play, he's a beast, man. And he probably, um, I wanted to go with a paint beast to make him more of a defender. That's fine. Uh, to make him more of a defender with this build because he can, he can rebound extremely well and he can get in that paint really well. Now, one thing I need to work on with him on is that spin move, because that spin move is is very important, man. If you ain't, if you haven't put together that spin move, where you can back down a defender and spin off of him to get in front of him, I mean, you almost guaranteed to get enough space to score every time. That's an important asset. I made this guy a power forward, a small forward. I made him like a six nine small forward, I believe. Um, I'm gonna have to double check him. Because uh, I've been playing with my other my player that I made a power forward. And he's a 6'11 power forward. And I finally got him up to a 93 overall. And when it comes, but he is an interior playmaker. So he, he really is like a beast. See how I can't get around him? Oh, double miss. I couldn't get around them because I don't have that spin move um, locked up. But it is a, a Hall of Fame stat on here. Oh, good foul. He's about to put a dog move on him in the post. So that was going to be a dope-ass move. Let's take it back some so I can recline. Um, at home chilling, trying to get this, this game going. But like I was saying... I made this guy a paint beast, and when it comes to his low post play, he's incredible. You're going to see it this game. Gets a lot of rebounds. Gets a, a lot of his defense is on point. For his defense, he can max out with 30 badges defensively, and that's high. And I, I put more effort on the defensive side when I use the pie chart. Um, to see what's his maximum badges he can get. Um, he missed that free throw. I shouldn't have missed that. Sometimes talking can distract me a little bit. But um, I am going to also talk throughout this game. Just giving people some idea. This, this is more my defensive player. I didn't want to make him too big because I didn't want him to be too slow. Um, after this game, I'm going to show. I'm a, now, his intimidator, I got that on Hall of Fame already. I wanted him to be a huge intimidating factor. He jumps up and swings, and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. The guy got to be like a 90-something shooter to, to not sl slightly throw that shot off. Um, that's another thing I like with his defense by me having it on 30 is it made him a Hall of Fame defender, which people may not think is important, but having a, a great defender – is important on this game. See why? Like I say, his, his intimidating factor is on Hall of Fame. It makes them guys miss more. A lot more. A heck of a lot more. So that's how I'm working on it. I'm going to post another video uh, probably today. I just wanted to show one with my the, my newest creation. My newest player build, uh, the Paint Beats build with 30 badges. Max, I don't have all the 30 badges yet because I just started them. But he had 30 badges max that he can get and Hall of Fame on um, defense, on the defensive side. Now, he also still can score and finish in the post. And he's, he's uh, a decent, has a decent amount of speed. Oh, I don't know what he was trying to do there. I should have passed the ball. That's why I say he still needs some tweaking. 
I don't have the spin moves down pat yet. And one thing, one other badge that I do like is that unpluckable badge. It prevents them guys from getting those kind of steals just like that. So for people who didn't know. Like I say, this is beginner level 2K stuff. I get almost any rebound that I you should have been past that back. Oh, good move. I like doing the fake, especially when I'm in the paint to see a defender jump. Um, you saw that he was standing still. I faked it, and then he still stepped into it to go in with the finishing. Um, a lot of that got to do with they, how, they, how they post moves are set up. And I'm going to show you all this build that I got for this player. Oh, don't say that was follow me. But see how I said when his intimidator is on Hall of Fame, it really affects their low post shots when they're trying to shoot at the low post. So that's a huge help for anybody who's uh, building a player and you want them to be um, kind of a dominant defender. That's what this player is. I want him to be a paint scorer and a dominant defender. Not a three-point shooter, not a jump shot shooter. That stuff is fun when you're playing um, the neighborhood where you got somebody who can just shoot the triples. I have another build for that. That's my small guard build. Because the small guard, those are the – oh, good shot. Those are the best ones, um, the best shooters. But if you want somebody who he can he – can, he got a stand and dunk, the whole nine. If you want somebody who's – uh, a, a good defender, because you need defense when you're playing the wreck and when you're playing the uh, my neighborhood. You need a good defender. A good shot. So if you want to create a good defender, overall defender that also can score, uh, this probably be a good build for you. You draw a lot of fouls, which is good also. So you want to make sure that he has a free throw shot. I still haven't perfected my free throw skills, uh, but as you can see, I'm getting better. And what I like is the higher number up on the free throws, you don't have to get it perfect and you can still get green. I think this guy is a high number up on free throws. I made his, uh, made him have braids, which is a slightly different look than uh, my other build that I created. But like I say, this is my paint beast build. This is my rebound and interior score and top of the line defender deal. You know it's top of the line because you can max out at 30 badges for defense. And I'm going to go past somebody. 30 passes of defense. 30 badges on defense, which I'm going to show at the end of this video is badges. 30 badges of defense. And. Um, Hall of Fame defender. So I can get a lot of badges on Hall of Fame. So he's, once I get to that status, probably by the time I finish at least one season, um, I will have, hopefully have all of his defensive badges complete. <clears throat> but he almost makes everybody miss that he defends. I'm really liking this build right here. I haven't tested it out too much in uh, multiplayer gameplay like the wreck or. I try, <clears throat> I try them out a little bit on the neighborhood. Um, only reason I don't play that much of the wreck, oh, no, I ain't not that far, is because uh, a lot of guys play each other on the wreck. This is one thing I learned about the wreck. A lot of guys play each other on the wreck, but they all play in a, uh, at two at for each other. It's not a lot of team ball on the wreck. The last time I played the wreck, I played it with my interior playmaker. Um, I did get a few passes, a few rebounds. He's not the best rebounder. He's more of an interior playmaker. That's So his playmaking badges is where all his badges is at. I don't even think he has a Hall of Fame badge. I, hopefully he does have one on, um, I think he has one on finishing. I'm going to do another video with that deal. But he, he had the most I ever had on the record, which was like 24 points. And he had a, a good five or six rebounds or something like that. So he, he played really well. That's probably he had 93 overall. So that's probably the guy I will play on the wreck until I get this guy built up. Because I think this is going to be a great player for the wreck. Because I like playing uh, four 
to center positioning on the wreck. So this guy, he, he's only 6'9", but he's still an incredible rebounder. And more importantly, he, he has a good intimidating factor, which is on Hall of Fame. I think his rebounds might be on Hall of Fame. I'm not sure yet. Uh, like I said, I haven't played with him in a minute. Oh, messed up this whole takeover meter. Doing a silly little layer, whatever that was. Which I'll take the blame for that. Come on, with a three and a kid. Hey, good defense, Luke. That should have been three and a kid anyway. I don't, I don't even know what's up. They called three and a kid in the second. On, uh, on you, if you want to keep that long. But they ain't called it. And like I said, um, right now, I'm, I'm trying to go through the seasons. I suggest the way I built my 93 player up fast was to, uh, I played 12 minute games. That way he was always an A plus. He always scored a lot. And I was able to increase my badges limit fast. Only one I don't have him fully stocked up is the playmaker badge. And he is an interior playmaker. So I think those badges go to 26. But I, I'm not sure if any of them is on Hall of Fame status. I'm just going to speed pass through all of this so I can get back to me playing and get this game uh, over with. I'm not playing. I'm playing this on 12 minutes also. The, the last I like playing 12 minutes to boost his stats and so that the um, so I can get his badges and his award points to me filled up faster. Uh, some people say, oh, you know, you don't really need to to play it, you can play it just five minute quarters and let the games go fast. But while you're playing, you want to learn also. You don't want to just play quick games. And you know, definitely in the beginning, oh, should have got that rebound. Definitely in the beginning, as you know, when you first start playing, they don't let you get a lot of playing time initially. So you only get a few minutes. Now, they did give him, start off giving this guy a lot of minutes. I guess because he was a uh, oh, how you missed that? That open layup. I guess they started giving him a lot of minutes because uh, he was a good fit for the power forward spot, and because I had it on twelve minutes, I was scoring a lot of points. And he was always a plus and all that kind of stuff. But mainly, he was getting a lot of rebounds. What I noticed. Is when you got a player that gets a lot of rebounds, that better be a foul. You got a player that get a lot of rebounds, they quick, they more quicker to give you a lot of playing minutes when you first enter in, uh, into the league. So that's how I built this guy. And he gets a fairly decent amount of minutes. He's not a starter yet, but he does get a lot of minutes um, coming off the bench. Oh, he <coughs> missed that. These free throws, man, you got to be like, I see I must haven't got them stretched all the way up yet. But you want to you wanna try to hit green every time. That's why I say it's good to, to have a little bit of playing time so you can learn how to um, learn your player, learn a release, learn a, learn a shot, learn how they, how they move, how they handle the dribble, different, different things like that. Why? So it's always good to, I mean, you, you have to get out of here. Good job. You have to learn. You want to learn your player. And you, the more the more playing time you have, to me, the better you can learn them. Not just, you know, kind of blowing through games quickly. Um, I want to boost his stats up as much as I possibly can. And that's the goal. So let's get back to the game. As you can see, I only got 10 points eight board so far. But look how he's look how he's grabbing rebounds. A little bit. I'm boxing out a center. Oh, give me the ball. Oh, good dunk. I haven't got to doing the flashy dunk yet. Like I say, this is a new build. It's a new build, but I'm still a, at an 84 overall. But um, the guy still will dunk, which is which is good. But more importantly, look, look how he grabs rebounds. Like he's a rebound monster. Pass. 
And the, the interior playmaker in the field that I have, his passing skills is, is pretty good too. But um, I'm going to show you that in another video right now. This is just about the build that I created. And this is the Paint Beast build. Just giving the insight to how this guy plays. Um, I, I always suggest at least three or four builds and switching out between them. Um, when you want to go to the wreck, you want to, whatever team, squad you're with, you want to play uh, different positions. You want everybody to be a point guard. Man, that was a good shot. I am here. Just turned around and shot it up quick. Got the shot off and maybe. You see, this guy got 10 rebounds already. Um, a good block. There we go. He got 10 rebounds already, but you see the way he's rebounding. Like, he's really going after the ball. His vertical is high. But I'm going to show the uh, I'm show the build at the end of this video. Should have showed it at the beginning, but I was trying to get um, oh, trying to get my video set up for recording while this was low. Yeah, point point guards and small guards is, in my opinion, good to make them um, as shooters. Finishers and and have good on like steals. Point they they lock quicker. They can steal the ball and run out court fastest. Some people have like ninety something speed and uh beatles. That's that's crazy to have somebody that fast. But just because that person's that fast, don't mean that they're gonna score every single time or do the, the most flashiest dunk. So you gotta kind of find that right combination of the player the way you like to play. Um, I'm not, I don't build players, you know, based off how other people like to play. I like to defend. I like to get putbacks. I still like to get blocks. I like to get rebounds. Um, so most of my builds are going to be that. I don't need to handle the ball, run real fast. I did make a uh, my third build. I did make that guy because I wanted the three-point shooters. Because what I learned is in the neighborhood, you got guys who just sit out at the three-point line. They pass it to him. He hit the triple every time because – he almost open every time. You get behind, so I said I wanted to build, with a, build a guy a guard. So I made a, a small guard, a small forward, and a power forward. Those are the three positions I like to play the most. My small guard, even though he's not Hall of Fame on the three level on the shooting, uh, his shooting is high. His you know in the nineties, and that person is like a he, he about an eighty one. Build so far. I haven't played with him too much because I want. I just started this build, and I want to build up my paint beast build. And I'm just showing you guys what this guy can do. This is all beginner level stuff. I'm not a, a you know million hour 2K player. Um, before this, I was playing 2K17, which I really enjoyed. I didn't like 18 too much. Um, I never got into 19, so I just skipped it straight to 2020 because it's on Game Pass. And basketball, honestly, the basketball games are uh, my favorite games I like to play other than uh, first-player shooter games, which I will switch off soon after I finish this build. And I'll be switching between Gears 5 and things like that. Like, look, he ranked 8 in, in the NBA for blocks. Already haven't even been in the league that long. He's only in his 15th game. But by him being most of my pie chart is on defense. So he's a rebounder. He's an intimidator. And he's a block shot person. But by it being so much you can do on the defensive side as far as your build go, that's why you see more slots for the defense. So that's why I wanted a, a build, a defender. Because the potential is, is so much more higher. Especially when you have a Hall of Fame uh, application badge on there, where you can have a Hall of Fame in certain areas, rebounding, blocks, steals, you know, intimidation. You can have him at a Hall of Fame status on all of those levels. And he still be a score. Look at, oh, that was about to be the alley hoop. They jump straight up and grab it. I missed that. See what I'm saying? Look how he jumps. He pretty much glad to get them rebounds over everybody. And I got a beast like Damian Lillard on my team, so 
That's one thing. I, a good thing to go to a good team. I went to the Pistons with my interior playmaker, and we didn't even make the playoffs the first season, even though I had a great season. Um, but I decided to go with Portland this time because they needed uh, a, a player with my stats. See what I'm saying? Interior defense. Look how intimidated that shot and went for the ball. He didn't get the foul, but I know they had Melo. I know they had Damian Lillard, three-point shooter, scores, and um, we we got a pretty decent record. I think this will put us at like uh, ten, ten and five, maybe. And you know those, a lot of those initial games I wasn't playing, but mostly since I started playing, getting more minutes. Oh, see, I still haven't mastered that free throw. Since I've been getting more minutes, we've been winning more games. There we go. If I say the more you play, the more practice you can get, especially with stuff like these free throws, man. They've been killing me with the free throws. Killing me with it. You know, free throws, you figure you should hit it almost every time. You should never miss those. But, um, the more I play, the, the more skill set I can get up so I can be in a position to hit those. We'll get there. We'll get there. You haven't even played that much. Should have went for a dunk on that, but I wanted the guaranteed score, which was the layup. He's still right now, second, third quarter, um, mid, almost mid third quarter. See what I'm saying? Look how he hung in the air just as the ball was coming down. He still was able to grab it. Oh, the rebound and put back. Yeah, that's what I like. He's silver on rebound chaser. But you know, rebound chaser, I'm going to have that at Hall of Fame status very soon. Very soon. The next badge I get, in fact, this rebound is going to be Hall of Fame status. Once I get a few more badges, then he, he's strictly going to be a red player after that. I at least finish one season. After that, it's all red. But he only about 15 games in it. This will make maybe 16 games in it. Come on, man, with the foul call. They call foul so easy on here, man. They be hating on him. And I believe, I mean, this guy only 6'9". So I can imagine somebody with all of, with a, the pie chart, mostly defense, and they seven foot, and they, but this was a good build. Because, you know, everything affects the build, the wingspan, all of that type of stuff. Oh, he should have missed that. Oh, my takeover meter went away. I didn't even press the button. He missed that stupid layup. Oh, where the three in the key at? It's all good. I don't need that uh, takeover meter. Yeah, assist. See, that's the beauty of having guys you can pass it to that can hit they, be in their spot and hit the jump shots. I could not do that with the Pistons, man. I didn't want to go with a super fancy team like LA or Golden State and all like that. I probably would have, could have did Brooklyn Nets. I think I would have been a good fit over there. Um, even Denver, I think I would have been a good fit for Denver. But uh, I wanted to get Portland, Portland a shot. I like Damon Lillard. Portland got a good squad to me, so that's the team I chose to go with. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of a screen. He, he just popped off. That's the beauty of having good teammates. Uh, picking, making sure you pick the right squad for, for your player. You know, I'm just, if they already got a good small guard, point guard, you know, you don't want to create a point guard and go to that team. Why not have a team? I oh, should have passed that. Good shot, though. Why not go to a team that need a good point guard, but got a good center, got a good power forward, you know, and make that team better. That way you would get more playing time. That's one of the keys to getting more playing time. I made him a small forward for a team that needed a small forward. I mean, I think they got Melo. He probably the starter. I don't start. Um, so that's 
that's the beauty for me. He got that. I mean, no situation, no turbo. That's another thing. You know they got a fast break. Yeah, get down court. But as soon as you start getting mid court, don't even waste your turbo anymore. Burn your energy. Go ahead and let them do that. You know what I mean, so I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't burn my energy on that. I go ahead and let them do that. Yeah, I'm talking about if he in the post when they giving that ball away. Oh, like he's about to do something nasty. They had to follow him on that play. He was about to do something nasty. I saw that one coming. Good foul, Zion. We both rookies. Zion a beast too on this game. That made him nice. That made him nice. Oh no! I needed that. I needed that. Let's see what they're gonna try to do. We only got about 13. That was so close to a block. Look how high up he jumps. Now, that's the one thing they can be to pay beats is somebody who can go that little. Floater in the air. Tony Parker floater. Good shot. Get somebody who can throw up that floater. Like that Tony Parker floater. Shit, you got to win him. Hard to block it. Now, that should have been a block. Yeah, he intimidated him. Made him miss both. Come on, get off. I hate that he can't go around screens that way, well either. Turn my volume on. I like to hear it. Oh, good shot. Good shot. He got the shot off and a foul. Let's go. Turn the volume up a little more. Uh, all right, we're in the third quarter. We only up by 13. Let's see what they can do. And New Orleans got a decent squad, too. Now, New Orleans need this center, power forward center. So, you, yeah, I just got that rebound. If you make a good power forward center, New Orleans might be a good team to go to. Ah, oh, I stop that. Yeah, that'd be a good team to go to if you, if you got, got to make a good power forward or center. They hurt his back on that play. How they have to flip over like that? Ooh. Shouldn't have missed that layup. That's my fault. I should have went up with the fake. Did the step back, step into move. That's the thing to master. All of these little moves that they do make you a more effective scorer. I see how he just dodged up there and got there. Oh! That was a cold little move. They had to do the replay on that one. They ain't even show it all the way. That was a good, good move idea right there. I just playing with the stick a little bit. One of them uh, good acrobat plays, but um, I got the cons consistent finisher badge on that. The contact finisher is a good badge to have too, especially if you have an all of fame. That's one of them badges where you can just dunk on anybody and and still make it. Now, that's why I like that badge. He already got 20 rebounds. Wow, this guy's a rebounding animal. And not just on here, even when I played him in a wreck, he's pretty good. So I know he's legit. Ah, falling on the other side. I don't want to burn him down all the way, even though I don't get full playing time. Oh. Good block. 
the block. Chase down block. Let's go. Man. That was a good sign. I don't know what he was about to do. So I say a lot of people look at the hands. I started learning how to look at the feet with the rebounds. You time it when his feet just go up just right. That's how I've been starting, been able to get the green more. You see, you see, I've been still missing some of them. But for the most part, I usually get them. Late jump. I can't wait to get that rebound chaser on all the same. I'm curious to see how good his rebound is. Then. <clears throat> and like I say, this not no big seven foot four center. You can make a center seven seven. He'd be slow, but if you put him all all uh, defensive badges and make him a paint beast, he'd be a force to wreck. We probably pretty much grab every rebound that he's going up for if you badge him up right. Oh, that should have been a block too. But he don't have to be that to get rebounds. That's why I, I do like that about this game. They real specific. Oh. 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 He missed the fade away. And that post fade move, if you're making a post player, so critical. Because it, it allows you to get the space that you need to um, make the shot. I'm just playing with him now. Just playing with him. I had him lost, but then I went back that way. If I'd have had him shook and then went in, it would have been, been a much better play for me. But he do have some dribble moves. But he goes after the rebound. I just, just wanted y'all to see one of the games that a paint beast with the with the right team that can use a good well, he, well, the small four use them how um how they vertical is so high they get so many blocks and they get so many rebounds it's crazy <clears throat> and how putting his intimidating factor on Hall of Fame make a huge difference when it comes to blocking shots. And it comes to uh, making the other team miss shots in the post. In any case, it's the fourth quarter. Let's see what we can do. We can finish this game up. Always don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button, comment on the video, whatever. Like I told y'all before, this is the paint build. I'm only about 16 games in it. And I created this paint build. And I'm just giving you a showing of what, what a paint build can do for you, what type of player this paint player can be for you. He may be a better rebounder. He may be a better jump shot shooter. I haven't built him up yet. He only 84, and that's mostly on the defensive side because I want to make him a defensive presence for grabbing rebounds and disrupting shots. As you can see, he does that easily. He also can score in the post. I put a few more post moves on him. <clears throat> Badge him up a little bit more on, on a, um, I like him to hit a mid-range shot, but more importantly, I want him to hit that post fade. That is an important shot for any interior player. Okay. Drop that pass on Good pass. Pass. As you can see, he can still get assists too. I have five assists. I haven't even been trying to get assists. I just if I got open, I'm going to hit him. But he can't get the ball to him still. Like I said, at the end of this um, game, I'm going to show this build, but this is the paint beast build. And look at that. I mean, he just, well, there wasn't nobody else down there, so that, that was kind of an easy rebound to get. Um, but he, he, he scores with finesse in the paint. I haven't been putting a lot of post moves on players yet, which I, I do have post moves. But he is an excellent defender. Excellent defender. Excellent with the help defense. Look how his lateral quickness. He moves around the court good. His vertical game is ridiculous. 
Ooh, that was a good five. He's about to go straight to the paint with that one. I'm telling him what he was about to do. See, they just subbed me out again. Oh, okay, they, they put me as a center. I can roll with that. That is a good alley hoop. Oh, good way to make him foul you. He got four fouls on Zion. I don't know what Zion been doing all game. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I still have a massive free throw. Oh, come on. Miss both of them? I so got to work on my free throw shit. Goodness gracious. No way I should have leaving points on the table. I'd have missed about six free throws. I could have had 33 points by now. Sucks when you miss some free throws, man. I gotta work on getting my free throw ability up too. And I'ma bash that up. Yeah, so ain't no sense of wasting my turbo on here. Lillard not about to miss that. And hey, Lillard, he, he fast too, a fast guard. So like I said, I got to the right team. This team definitely should be making the playoffs. Most likely gonna win the championship on his first season. But definitely should be making the playoffs. But then I'm gonna follow me. Uh, follow me. See, he already got 24 rebounds, 27 points. A solid game. I could have had more points, at least 30 points, but he had a solid game. Five assists. Main emphasis: 20 some rebounds. Right. This guy goes after it. To not be a seven footer. He can't rebound over. Oh. He can't rebound over uh, seven foot guys. So, this is that Peyton Beast deal. But if he was taller, I could have made him a better rebounder, but he would have been slower. This is the fastest version of a top rebounder that I can make. Oh, good foul. That's five fouls for him. He might get fouled out before the game over. There we go. Free throws, man. Oh, come on. It's like he's either green or he's missing. He can't. Ain't no in between, man. Um, I he defender, a pesky defender. I ain't gonna give it back to you. Now, that definitely should have been three in the key as long as he was in the paint. They still ain't called. At least I was able to get that 30 points. I should have got about five blocks this game. Oh. Oh! He should have made that. He had it. Pass that. Layer. Get jammed up and pass the ball. Don't be scared to pass it. That's better than a missed shot or a turnover. Especially when you can dish it out and have them dish it right back to you. Okay. I know he finally used me to use my takeover. 20 seconds left. Oh. Layup. Layup. Still was able to get a few more points. Game pretty much over now. Almost got the steal. But this was, this was overall a good game. My little brother called me. Call him in a minute. Don't get my cell phone. It was overall a good game. Like I said, this is my paint beast build. Um, he didn't even play a whole lot of minutes, as you saw. 
and he still was able to get 34 points, 25 rebounds, five assists. Five assists. Um, his playmaking, I think they only gave him one badge for playmaking, but he got, I know he got 30 badges for defense and rebounds, um, and he is a hall. He got a Hall of Fame uh, level badge for defense. So I'm a I'm a really push a lot towards his defensive ball. But he pretty much going to average these stats the whole game. And once he started playing more minutes, of course, the stats are, are going to go up by a lot. So that's why I like playing 12 minute quarters. I know it draws the season out longer, but um, that's how I want to play. And it helps me help you build uh, better to me and learn your player better. Because playing the, the game is one thing. But when you go to the rec or you go to the neighborhood, the gameplay is so much more different. Shots that you would typically make on here, because these cats are a little bit more predictable, you will not make on there because everybody you're playing against is 90-some players. Between 80 and 90-some players, everybody's good. So that's why you want to make sure you'll play at least a 90-some before you even go to the rec. And I just played the rec with my interior playmaker, my power forward player, 6'11". And like I said, he got uh, 20 over 20-something 20 points. And I think his his Hall of Fame is on um, finishing. So he got Hall of Fame finisher. And I can build up those badges. So that's a, another bonus also. So I'm about to um, close off this game. I'm going to show you his badges. And his overall, where I got him set at, at this point, like I say, beginning level play, he only at 84. Um, I see him going to be in at least a 95 before he become a rank only player or a, a neighborhood only player, where I can get a lot of um, good games in in that way, playing against different people. I might play against some, uh, might play against some people that later on the day with him. But um, right now, he's still going to play the season <clears throat> so I can build up his badges. Like I said, take at least one season to build up his badges to be like a 95 player with all 30 defensive badges used for. So let's get to it. Now they throwing contracts at me. Another thing, too, I recommend always negotiate your contracts right now i don't like to buy stuff at the stores or anything like that so i don't uh, i don't like it and i don't plan on buying anything from the stores to be honest with you so so that's 16 percent off always counter offer um I, I always increase this amount for an event but i try let's let's just try 150 100 more one more incentive and I take this all the way down to let's just try two. Let's try let's try five percent store. No, I, I'm not gonna buy anything Gatorade. So I'm gonna increase this to seventeen fifty. Add an incentive with no store discount. See what they go for. It. So now they want to counter, and now they now they counter in fourteen fifty and two incentive with zero, which is is still good. So, I would take that. Because you get so much more points for stuff like this, which I'm going to get. Like, I'm going to get double doubles. Um, 2010, I'm going to get this one. Well, actually, I like the 50 for the player of the game, because I'm definitely going to be getting those. Um, you want to go for the higher ones because they give you the most point the fastest. I'm probably not going to always get the 40 yet, but at some point I will. But I definitely should be getting the 25 and 12 boards. So I should be getting to be an extra 100 right there 
every game that I would get. So you want to always negotiate. Don't ever accept that they initially give you. Play around with them numbers to get the best deals for you. Of course, you want the numbers more than a discount. Um, some people like spending money at the store and stuff on these guys being dressed and stuff like that. But once you get your player up to 95, you're not increasing them anymore. Then you can go ahead and buy little stuff like that. Now we had Nike. Look, look, Nike was going to offer a lot. Now this is actually a discount you may want to have. I passed up on it last time, but I want more. I want three thousand, and I'm gonna decrease this now to fifteen with two incentives. See, they instantly can make that work. So I really could have bargained for more, but uh, this is good enough for me. I'm gonna go with the converted and one, and I'm gonna go with. Shoot. I want to say pick and roll assist. I don't get a lot of flashy dunks. I don't get a lot of alley hoop finishes. Um, but I do get a lot of pick and roll assists. So I'm gonna go for those. He's not a fast break scorer, so it don't make sense to, to go for fast break scoring. So we negotiating those contracts. And that's that. Now to, to the end of this video, because this has been a long video, 45 minute video. Let's go to progression. Let's go so I can show you guys what I got. You met. You can see here paint. Oh, I made him a center. Here paint me center. Here's um, a small center though, six nine, but he's 77 speed, 70 acceleration, 73 vertical, and a 91 on stamina. And look, he still. 80, 80 dunks, his dunking ball all the way up to 83, standing dunk. His close shot can go to 83. His standing dunk and driving dunk can go to 83. He's not a three-point shooter, but I can still get his three-point shooting up to 47. Um, his mid-range shot, which I want him to have, so I'm going to increase this, but I still want to work on his defense first because uh, right now I'm not doing any of that. His post-fade is... It's 30. That's the highest that's going to go. You definitely want to have his ball handling up. His post moves not up that high. But look at all of this. I already got him at 90 on defensive rebounds. And they can go higher. I got a 90 on block. I got him a 75 on steel. 75 on interior defense. 55 on perimeter defense was the highest it would go. And lateral quickness is always one of the first ones I build. And he's a 76 on lateral quickness. So, um, let's start boosting up his offensive rebounds. Well, I'm going to boost his offensive rebounds up one, but I really want him to work on his mid range. So, I'm going to get a mirror and mirror on his mid range and his ball hand and see if I get one ball. See, his speed increased by one off of that but he's still an 84 overall so this is where he's pretty much set up set at now um just so you guys can see for his paint beast now i'm going to go to his badges so you can see he got 12 potential badges on finishing of course he hall of fame with 30 potential badges on defense and he has one on playmaking which i have already and he has one on shooting which i don't have yet um, but i'm going to eventually have one then i go over here i already got him as an intimidator the next one i get i'm going to hall of fame his rebound chaser and i'm gonna have a whole bunch more stuff because he got 30 potentials so why not um but you see how this guy plays this is my my build, if anybody want to mimic it, having a paint beast as one of your builds, it's honestly the way to go. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's down there in the left corner. And like, share, and comment on all my videos. Peace.